How much does the richest woman earn? Who is the youngest billionaire woman in history? Stay tuned for the answers to these questions. Hello dear friends, it took us a long time to choose a hero for our video dedicated to the richest women who succeeded in business on their own. So we found 10 women, and each of them deserves to be known by sight. These women, ranging in age from 32 to 69, include MBAs, college dropouts, Silicon Valley CEOs, and a model turned tycoon. Together, they owe $9.7 billion, so meet all nine. Sarah Blakely, Fortune, $1 billion. Sarah Blakely runs her own company, Spanx, which produces corrective underwear and boasts a fortune of $1.5 billion. Sarah began her career as a salesperson selling fax machines, then was a top executive at Nike. The idea to produce corrective underwear came to her before an important event where she had to look spectacular. Sara wore tight ties, but she couldn't let her stocking stick out of her sandals, so she cut off the foot of her tight. The idea inspired Sara so much that with only $5,000 on hand, she had already registered a patent a few days later and started her business. After Oprah Winfrey started wearing corrective underwear, sales of underwear began to skyrocket. Sofia Amoruso Fortune $280 million The only member of the millennial billionaire generation to make her way outside of the entertainment industry, Sofia Amoruso has made her fortune from online shopping. Her fashion company is called Nasty Girl, and Amoruso founded it when she was 22 years old. Back then, she sold mostly vintage pieces for young fashionistas. 10 years have passed, and Nasty Girl now competes with H&M and Asus. This year, the company's revenues reached $300 million, while in 2012, they barely reached 100. Amoruso has published an autobiographical book, Hashtag Girl Boss, and is preparing to release an autobiographical comedy series on Netflix. Diane Hendricks, Fortune, $4 billion. Diane Hendricks is considered the richest woman who started her business from scratch. She is now 72 years old, and her fortune is estimated at $7.2 billion. Diana began dreaming about her business at age of 13 when she watched workers repairing her father's farm and wanted to help them. Before the big business, however, Diana had collected ballpoint pens and worked as a broker. At 21, she was able to pursue her favorite business, construction. Together with her husband, she bought dilapidated houses, repaired them and sold them. And when they saved a little, they invested all the money in a shingle store. It started a huge chain of hardware stores, which Diane still runs to this day. Katie Arland Fortune $360 million Supermodel Katie Ireland has built a licensing empire by lending her name, taste and marketing skills to more than 17,000 products. And it is all selling so successfully that it is generating $2.6 million in profit for the retail chain. Katie herself was discovered by the modeling agency Elite when she was 16 years old. While modeling, Katie kept coming up with side business projects. One of them shot up, furniture. Entering the furniture market, Ireland decided her brand had to have some substance. The solutions for families, especially busy mothers approach, was now the company's motto. Carpets, for example, were treated with a special liquid proofing agent that preserves colors and prolongs carpet life, and tables were designed with rounded corners so that running children would not be injured by sharp corners. Mag Whitman, Fortune $2.1 billion. Mag Whitman was well known as a successful CEO at Hewlett Packard, and after splitting the company in 2015, she leads Hewlett Packard Enterprise which sells servers and software. She has also held executive positions at Hasbro and Walt Disney, and she is also known as the head of eBay, raising its revenue from $5 million in 1998 to $8 billion in 2008 when she left that post. Tony Co. Fortune $260 million Tony Co. moved to the United States from Korea when she was 13 years old. 
After school, she helped her parents who had a warehouse. In 1999, when she was 25, she noticed how big the price gap was between supermarket cosmetics and drugstore products. Thanks to her involvement in the family business, she had connections in the wholesale world and startup capital. So she took a risk and launched NYX Cosmetics, a bargain price luxury cosmetics brand. In the first year, Co made $4 million on retail sales. In 2014, she sold the brand to L'Oreal, the company's value then reaching $500 million. And in the spring of 2016, Co launched the brand of stylish and flirty perverse sunglasses for $40 to $60 a pair. Katrina Lake, Fortune $120 million. Katrina is the creator of Stage Facts, an online retailer that picks up clothes for women shoppers based on statistics and tips from stylists. Last year, sales reached $250 million, showing that the San Francisco startup has become a convenient shopping tool for very business women. Although Lake has not earned the $250 million borderline for the list of wealthiest, she is on the list of up-and-coming entrepreneurs and in the near future will soon be one of the top 60 richest business women in the world. Dorothy Herman, Fortune, $270 million. The richest self-made American real estate woman in the world, Dorothy Herman, is co-owner of Douglas Elliman, a solid New York firm that sells $22 billion worth of homes a year and has $600 million in revenue in the process. The firm employs over 6,000 agents in 85 offices. When Dorothy was 10 years old, she was involved with her parents in a car accident in which her mother died and her father was severely injured. The little girl herself was thrown from the car. Dorothy became a mother at 19 and in the 1980s began working as a real estate broker for Merrill Lynch on Long Island. The firm was soon bought out by Prudential Long Island. In the 90s, Dorothy herself purchased most of the firm. Lee Zelting Fortune $390 million. Lee Zelting is one of the CEOs at TransPerfect, one of the largest multilingual translation firms with $505 million in annual revenue. The firm has offices in 90 cities around the world. Lee Zelting founded the company in 1992 with a classmate, Phil Show, who was once her boyfriend. Today, their company is based in New York City, employing 4,000 people and serving 11,000 customers, including AT&T, Google, and Walmart. Virginia Marie Jeannie Romati, born Virginia Maria Nicosia, born July 29, 1951 in Chicago, Illinois, is an American businesswoman, top executive, chairman of the board of directors, former president from 2012 to 2020, and ninth CEO of IBM Corporation and the company's first female executive. Prior to becoming president and CEO in January 2012, she served as senior vice president and executive director of sales, marketing, and strategy at IBM. She joined IBM in 1981 as a systems engineer in the company's Detroit office. Has been on Fortune's magazine, 50 most powerful women in business list for 10 consecutive years, ranking number one in 2012, 13 and 14. Received recognition from a number of other publications, making similar lists as well as critical acclaim for her work. In 2017, Forbes magazine ranked Jane Romady as the 10th most powerful woman in the world for the first time on the list of the 100 most powerful women in the world. Kylie Jenner was able to make $1 billion at the age of 21 and became the youngest billionaire in history. After all, even Mark Zuckerberg, who founded Facebook, earned his first billion only at the age of 23. Jenna began her career as a model. On the back of her popularity, after participating in reality TV, she launched her own small cosmetics line. Kylie Cosmetics is mostly sold online, as Jenna has about 180 million followers on social media. And which woman from our top today did you like the most? 